Well, Talos, uh, actually, no Talos, uh, Series M VR, The Last Hope, is actually built from scratch for VR. So this is a game we decided to make in VR in order to explore the VR space and to see what a game needs to be uh, successful in VR and to work in VR the way it's meant to work. We didn't want to make uh, to only make games that are uh, adaptations, uh, remakes. So yeah, that's what we started doing with uh, The Last Hope and hopefully in the future. It's not a bad thing. I mean, this is not something bad to choose yeah. have adaptation. Yeah. Yeah. We are all the gamers want to replay all game, all older games in VR because on VR are something new completely. So yeah. it's not necessarily yeah. bad to adapt, take adaptations. Uh, so it's just good for you to yeah, know. Yeah. Okay, so, um, how hard is to port a game from 2D to VR? It's actually extremely difficult. Uh, what most people think is that you just put support for a VR headset and support for that type of movement, that's it. But actually when you get into it and when you start developing the game, it actually turned out to be really hard. So uh, the, the world needs to fit. The, the things you do need to fit. All of the mechanics need to be uh, adjusted to work in VR because you don't play a VR game as you would a regular flat game. Uh, you actually try different things, you, you think a different way because you're in that world. You want to see that world and you want to experience it properly. So everything needs to be scaled. Everything needs to be... When you're in that world, you don't want to see a small building or a, or a small object that's smaller than you. you. You want to see everything as it was, as it would be in a real world. So that's, that's what makes the most difference and people, you know, people... Uh, the experience is different and everyone wants to uh, play it differently and individually, so it, it takes a lot of work to adjust it. Did you expect all the hype that Sirius Sam uh, brought to the VR? Because it was something incredible, everybody was talking about Sirius Sam, first encounter, second encounter, you have a lot of passionate users. Yeah. You were expecting that in that moment? Or? Oh. We were actually passionate about the project ourselves and we, we, when we started making it, we knew that the VR space is still not as developed as it should be. It's not really the, the healthiest business space to work in, but we were passionate about it. We believed in it and we wanted to do it. So, And, and when you're passionate about it, you know that someone else will be. The people you are making it for will be passionate about it. So yeah, we kind of expected it. We knew Sirius Sam had a big following. Uh, and, and we knew some of that following switched to VR and wanted to experience Sirius Sam in VR, so why not, yeah. Did you expect the same for Talos Principle, I guess? Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, well, me personally, when I play the game, it feels different. Although it's the same game, it has uh, all those puzzles and it has the same story. It's, it's a different experience when I play it. When I go in Talos uh, VR, I, I just feel the world uh, from a di different perspective and that's what I hear uh, from the people who tried it and people who played it they all say it feels different although it's the same and I do expect people to be excited about it because it's also something that's not really uh, available in VR so much when you go into a VR store and want to buy a, a game uh, many of them are shooters so yeah we wanted to make a little step further we actually thought from day one that talos vr was a perfect fit uh, talos was a perfect fit for vr and uh, it just turned out to be true no 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 it's it's uh, you're right we need more intelligent games yeah. in vr it's a, oh. it's actually a slow paced game so w when you go to vr it's always that that crazy exper uh, experience you know you're everyone's coming at you you're shooting and and it, it'll go always crazy and in talos vr you can actually relax you can go inside solve a few puzzles experience the world find some secrets and stuff it, it's a slower paced uh, game and that's that's what i think is the the most uh, important feature of the game. Even in Sirius Sam, some, sometimes I have played, I just stare the mountains, yeah. I just been there because it's uh, it, the, the engine is very well done for VR. It's, 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 not, okay, it's not the perfect, it's not photogrammetry or, yeah. or those techniques, but it kind of feels very natural being inside works. the engine. Yeah. 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 How do you see the actual moment of VR globally? Do you, do you think it uh, has been passed 
has passed two years since the beginning of the VR hype in the community with the Oculus, HTC, PSVR. How do you see two years later the moment in VR, the scene of VR? I think it's it's really good and I think it's getting better. Finally, the some big developers like Bethesda ha have decided to support it and they've uh, all announced great games for it and I think that benefits the players as well as developers because if the players are interested, then developers can make the games uh, for the for the players to play and it goes around in circles. So uh, the more developers decide to work in VR, Uh, the better it is for everyone, not only players but developers. And I think it's it's picking up. It's it's picking up constantly, and I think it's growing. It's amazing how far it's gone now, and I believe in two years it's going to be even better. Do, do you know exactly or more or less how much people are buying the headsets or I, your I'm, title, your numbers? Yeah, or... I'm, I can't really discuss numbers as far as our titles go but w what I know is that the headsets are slowly also rising in numbers uh, I believe I've read somewhere that PlayStation VR has about a million headsets in sales and I believe the other two also have around that number together so I think that's a that's a healthy community now and it's growing and it, it will keep growing I'm talking about PSVR are you going to port Your game should be VR, Talos Principle. Well, the Talos Principle VR is currently announced only for Vive, and that's what we are aiming for at this moment. And uh, we'll see what happens with other platforms. What do you think about exclusives? I know it's a difficult question because there's a lot of people arguing about uh, if that game goes just for. It is good for the yeah. VR community to have games only for Vive, only for Oculus, only for PSVR. Uh, there are very only two million headsets outside, so selling to just a fragment of those guys. Well, what it's, do you think about? it's a business decision. It's not something that you can. Well, I can I can share my thoughts like uh, as a player or whatever, but in the end, it's a business decision. Whatever works for the dev, dev team and whatever whatever works globally, I think that's that's what they will do. Are you going to be in Rift? soon in Oculus Rift? I mean, we are on Rift with uh, Sirius Sam The Last Hope, so why not? But there are some things that need, need to be done. Uh, uh, three of our games support uh, room scale gameplay, and that's something Rift is still struggling with. They do have an experimental setup, but uh, hopefully it gets better, and when it does, why not? One of the things we love about your games are always the the help to the motion sickness to the to the users and the ability to of the options you have to get, you know, remove them at all or just check some options. So um, is that something you came to? Is that something you learn? You have to do it? Is just something that happened naturally to put all those options there? Have you heard the community? Uh, yeah, well, well, when the guys started developing the game, they had several different locomotion options in mind. And what you uh, get, come to realize in, with, with time, when, uh, he, when everyone tries to play the game, when a guy comes in and tries to play the game and then someone else comes in, they each have a different experience because they have different uh, ways their body and their mind reacts to the game. So along with four uh, preset options, we have decided to put in the, the, the advanced options where everyone can just set the game up to their liking. For instance, uh, where when I play, I can play full locomotion, but I can't really turn the camera with my controller. If I do that, I get sick. Uh, someone else doesn't have that issue, so everyone needs to have an option to adjust it to their liking, and definitely we've listened to the community, and some of the stuff you see in the game, uh, as far as controls go, go are definitely made with the by the, uh, after the feedback that the community gave us. What do you think about you are? almost the only one to, who is doing that. What could be the reason not to remove or give the user the option to remove all the 
all these options. I mean, developing every single aspect and every single type of uh, movement is time consuming, but I believe everyone should do it because you want to make the player as comfortable as they can be in your game. Uh, because when someone tries the game and he feels sick in, in a few minutes, he's probably not going to try the game again. So you need to work as hard as you can to make sure that doesn't happen, that they have the option to change whatever suits them so that the game feel, feels natural and they can play without issue. Uh, as a community, in Spanish language, okay, we missed a lot of English, or Spanish localized games. Uh, um, are you going to have Talos Principle translated to Spain, to Spanish language, with subtitles or the voices or...? Well, we're definitely always trying to uh, make as many localization options as we can uh, for any of our games. And uh, yeah, we're definitely looking at uh, all of the bigger markets and all of the markets where there is interest for our games to do localization. If it's a menu or subtitles, definitely, we'll, we'll, we'll always try and do that. Okay. that well, we have partners, I believe there are, they are in Spain, and uh, they're working on it. You can imagine all the people are asking this question in our community. Yeah. There's a lot of games that are not being, going to be sold in Spain, just because it's not translated. Yeah. Yeah. Even with subtitles, there's a Wilson Hart. From Oculus, there's a lot of money in that game, and they didn't put the subtitles, not the voices, not anything. It's just no. only English. Yeah. And for the Spanish guys, we don't speak English very well, as you can notice. Uh, we need some help. Yeah, somewhere around. Yeah, well, localization is always on our mind, and we're always trying to translate every game we have. Do you know something about the Windows M ear or mixed reality? Um, system? Are you going to port? Are you going to work with them? In... We'll see what happens. That's all I can say. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi, people oh, from Real or Virtual. Uh, much love from Crow Team and have a happy anniversary.